And welcome back mga kasambahay to Dr. Son TV. Our topic this morning is on the nutritional guide for school children with us two doctors from Wellnessland Health Institute Manila, Dr. Joy Holgado and Dr. Michael Thompson. Good morning ulit Dr. and Dr. Good morning. Good morning. Para kanina we had a question about ano bang common nutritional deficiencies in our school children. Actually dalawa pa rin yung ano yung macronutrients yung mga deficiencies sa mga importanteng uh, nutrients ng bata which is protein, carbohydrates okay. and fats, no? Okay. So meron pa rin cases ng mga yung tinatawag nating uh, protein energy malnutrition or kwasher core at barasms pero at this point in time, hindi siya ganun ka... Meron sa mga siguro far-flung provinces, pero kung sa city ka, hindi siya masyadong problema. It's more of the obesity. No? And then, yun namang isa yung sa deficiency sa micronutrients. Siguro dito tayo masyadong... Uh, ang pinaka-common is anemia, yung deficiency in okay. iron, and then deficiency sa, sa ibang nutrients. Kahit vitamin D, may deficiency na rin tayo na-identify, tsaka kahit vitamin A. So, yung mga micronutrients na importante, may deficiency na rin. So, Tara, wait, wait, you said earlier, protein deficiency, where do we get protein, ma'am? Uh, Protionally, ideally, sa mga bata, no, ang protein sources natin, ang, ang, ang admin advocate, kasi ideally is, uh, if possible, plant protein, lalo na okay. sa mga younger children, because it's easier to digest. And examples of which? Uh, which is soya-based, legumes, yung mga ganun. Okay. So, yun, mga munggo, green yung mga green leaf, mga, yun, mga iba pang mga uh, vegetables and ano pero primarily yung mga soya based na protein no okay. so unless contraindication siya for uh, some patients na may G6P hindi siya pwede ng soya based okay lang din then um, kasi ang demand naman ng bata lalo na kung yan older than 5 hindi naman more of growth and uh, share parang kumbaga nagpa-plateau na yung requirement nila so hindi ganoon kadami ang demand nila for animal protein pero once the, the child reaches adolescent, teenager, na kailangan na niya to build more muscles. That's the time we encourage other sources of protein aside from plant. Pwedeng fish, yung mas healthy pa rin. Mas, if ever, lean meat, pero very minimal. Okay, so more fish pa rin ang healthier source mm -hmm. of protein. Ito rin iron naman. Sa iron po kasi, um, pwede nakukuha rin siya sa mga vegetables and protein. no? So kailangan din yung Kailangan talaga. And make sure lang din yung source ng mga kinakain ng bata is if you can get the organic uh, vegetables, organic na mga meat, mas preferred natin. Red kids sa yung mga ano lang, or uh, ordinary na mga ano. Organic, free range, yes. yung importante. Mm -hmm. you know. Nagsasource ka ba niyan, Doktora? Yes, of course. <laughs> sa San Isidro? <laughs> Oo, yun ang important talaga. Um, kasi a lot of people, I noticed no with mothers, um, kapag nasa grocery, titignan mo yung mga carts nila. It's sad to see na they think hot dog is a complete protein. Okay. Diba? So, doktora, ano pong masasabi nyo tungkol dyan? <laughs> Unfortunately, processed food siya. So, hindi siya natural. Which means, kung ano man yung uh, makukuha nila doon is hindi yung true na nutrients na kailangan nila. We still prefer the raw food. no? And if we encourage, sabi nga, napag-usapan nga ni, ni Dr. Pau dati, kung tignan mo yung ref, ng bahay mo. Ang ref mo ba pag binuksan para ba siyang garden, di ba? Na puro fresh vegetables, fruits, or on the other end of the spectrum, pag binuksan mo ba para ba siyang morg, morgue? Kasi mm. patay yung mga nandun. Puro frozen, puro mga processed food. So, you have to, as a parent, you have to be wise. You have to choose what you place inside your kitchen and your pantry na rin. Puno ng preservatives yes. at food coloring, no, yes. doktora? So I guess we should encourage the kids to eat more vegetables, yes. more fruits. Uh, ano bang magandang baon sa mga bata? Ah, yan yung medyo nagkakaroon ng problema mga magulang kasi ano ipapabaon, no? Ayun. Ang ano kasi, ang dictum, at least as much as possible, more five or more varieties of fruits and vegetables a day. Yun yung recommendation. Kasi di ba na-mention nga natin na sa in cases of obesity, meron kami tinatawag na ano eh, na parang key, 5 to 1, 0. Yung five, more than five varieties of fruits and vegetables, the more color, the better. Yung two, two naman daw, you limit viewing of sa TV. Kasi yun ang isang sedentary na time na ang bata nang nagmamatch siya ng kung ano-ano eh, di ba? Two hours. Okay. Pero for kids less than two years old, as much as possible, no TV. At walang TV sa loob ng bedroom. Walang tablet din. Wala rin. Kasama niya yung gadget. <laughs> and then yung one daw is physical activity. Kasi hindi lang naman physically yung nutrition lang na tinitake in mo eh. Kailangan na exercise din ng bat. At least one hour a day. And primary, yung zero. Zero in the sense na no sweet beverages. So okay. doon pumapasok yung mga powder juices, yeah. mga, mga nasa tetra pack, yung mga ganun kasi or soft drinks. Yun yung mga major culprit eh. Sobra-sobra yung sweets niya. And that's no longer healthy. 
Kasi sa kung magbabaon ka sa anak mo, ano bang maganda sana ilagay for lunch for example? Ay ideally syempre ang ano is ang recommendation if you have a plate kung ano is one fourth non at least is yung carbohydrates mo or yung rice or grains. Kung gusto ng bata kanin pero mayroon siyang prefer may substitute yon. Then the, another one fourth is for the fruit. Okay. Then um, a part of that is vegetables, no? So ano yung vegetables? Pwede raw kung encourage ng mga salad type na grow talaga na okay. yung mga romaine, na mga lettuce, mga ganun encourage mo sila. And then yung protein mo it can be fish, it can be yung munggo pa rin or yung mga ibang protein source na healthy. Okay. So mm -hmm. no, one fourth carbohydrate and yung mga kanin, another one fourth fruit and vegetables, mm -hmm. and then the remaining one half of the plate yung mga protein sources such as Fish. And uh, primarily, marami pa rin vegetables. No? Actually, yung... Um, uh, do you remember the food pyramid? No? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we still follow that? Um, Ito school yung food pyramid. Well, uh, that was actually a, a couple of decades ago na yun. Okay. Eh. They, they introduced something uh, last 2010. It's called My Plate. I okay. don't know if it, yes, it's, yeah. it's what Dr. Rao was saying. Um, mas madali siya kasi kapag nakakain ka, hindi naman kasi pyramid yung nakikita mo. Mm -hmm. no? It's your plate. Now, so... Um, a, um, a fast instruction to it is your open hand, no? uh, ganyan yung fruits and vegetables. And then your, your closed fist, that's your um, carbohydrates. And then this one, the small one, this is your protein or your um, fats. Okay. So in portioning, you could also... So actually, Doc, we have a Filipino version of my plate. Eh, okay. It's called sa sa Pinggang Pinoy. Ah, nice okay? It's developed by the dietitians yeah. and nutritionists of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And they say it's more applicable to the Philippines. Yes. I think you just look at their website or mm -hmm. search for Pinggang Pinoy. Pinggang Pinoy. Uh, yeah. It's a Filipino mm -hmm. version. So I guess that can be a good guide, for oh, even oh. for children, oh. it's really mm -hmm. important no, to start early yes. with Correct. children. Because yes. when they're young, it's hard pag nasanay yes. na sa oh, 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 oh. matatabang foods or unhealthy foods pag tanda nila. Kaya nga. Yan na rin, no? eating vegetables. Kasi ano po masasabi ni Doktora sa mga hirap pa kainin ng gulay? Kasi makakita pa lang ng green, parang allergic na. <laughs> What's the trick? May trick po ba? <laughs> Actually, it all starts dun sa parent. Eh. Let's face it, hindi mo pwedeng i-impose din bigla yung bata. And you yourself must practice the right nutrition. Kasi kung i-convince mo yung anak mo na kumain ng gulay, pero hindi naman niya nakikita kumakain ka ng gulay, how would you say na, gab kainin mo to, eh hindi ka naman gumagawa. So it all starts with the parents then. They, kung baga, unti-unti, hindi mo siya pwedeng biglain. Pero start with yourself first and then let them see that you're enjoying what you're eating. Eh kasi kung hindi ka, kakain ka ng gulay, nakasimangot ka, pagagalitan mo sila, <laughs> di ba? Parang hindi siya mag-work eh. So, okay. kailangan if you eat with the, with the kid, it, it, the, the meal must be hearty, it must be happy meal. Para, oh, sorry sa quotation, hindi. <laughs> it, it, the, the table should be uh, open for discussion of nice topics, no? Exactly, oo. Oh, oh. Or kung talagang ang ginagawa kasi magulang, ayaw po kahit ayaw kainin yung isa, magbibigyan ng something substitute mm -hmm. para lang kumain. Oh, oh. Ang ginagawa sa amin ng nanay namin, talagang hindi maglalabas ng kahit anong pagkain din mm -hmm. hanggang di mo ubusin ng gulay. Mm -hmm. Eh, darating okay. ang panahon na magugutong din yung bata eh. So, gulay dapat ng kakainin at putas. Yun yun. Huwag choice. magbibigyan yeah. ng iba. Iba kasi natatakot, baka magutong yung bata eh. Ganun. Yeah. But gulay pa din at putas. And they're also saying you shouldn't reward kids with food. food. Yes. Okay, so that shouldn't be a motivation. Exactly. Kasi there will be a tendency uh -huh. that they associate mm -hmm. the food with the reward. Exactly. I did something good. At napupunta sa'yo pagdating, <laughs> ano po ang sakit? Uh, magiging obesity, obesity yeah. overweight, diabetes, diabetes so, hypertension, uh, early like. strokes and heart attacks. Marami yes. ang obesity and overweight. Uh -oh, Even okay. cancer rates are higher in our obese yes. and overweight patients oh, compared nice. to our lean patients. Exactly. Kaya sa so, bata pa lang, Start them Stop early. Healthy oh, eating, oh. right amounts. Yes. Pwede ba mag-diet ang bata? Ito, ano? ba, overweight ang bata, eat less. But will it de delay, cause problems sa development and growth? Okay. Um, this is where ano, you need the help of the dietitian okay. at saka gastroenterologist. Um, kasi you have to make sure na kahit i-diet mo siya, matatanggap niya pa rin yung mga kailangan niya. Eh. Hindi Essential. pwedeng, oo, oh, oh, hindi pwedeng diet mo to. So siguro ang first technique dyan is, ang first step is to cut down on the sweets. Yun na yun eh. Okay. Kung baga yung zero na nga, zero sweet beverages. Uh -huh. Kung dun pa lang, matatanggal mo na, maiiwasan na yung ibang. Tapos slowly, reintroduce, halapin mo lang yung ano yung ideal na, uh, na calories expected sa weight niya with an ideal weight. Okay. okay. Very good.